Today we're going to talk about the hypnotic trance. <laughs> Look into my eyes, etc. And we're going to be talking about hypnotic, the hypnotic trance, and your mind health and meditation and what it does for you. And a lot of people go, Ooh, hypnosis, that won't work on me. I've tried hypnosis. <sighs> doesn't do anything. Doesn't even work. And that's fine if that's what you think. But the important thing is that's what you think and you are right. It will not work on you. 100% right. And that's because it's all within your mind. Everything is in your mind. I'm a qualified hypnotherapist and I believe strongly in mind health and a lot of people aren't believers of hip hypnosis and, and how it all works, but we're gonna expel all those myths. No one can control your mind. They can only guide your mind in a way that'll work for you, that you already wanna have happen. If you want to quit smoking and you genuinely want to quit smoking, hypnosis will work 100%. In the past, people have been hypnotized to not feel pain in certain limbs that are being operated on. And that was standard practice. That worked perfectly fine. Hypnosis is real. Meditation is real. And for any of those non-believers, the way that you can see and apply this to your life and your mindset, if you're sitting in front of a fire, when you're out camping or wherever, in a lounge room looking at the fire, just looking at it, there's something hypnotic about it. There's something that's relaxing. It brings an overall balance over your body. You feel yourself relaxing and feeling comfortable with yourself. Everything feels empowered when you're looking at this flame. And you don't know why, but you just feel so relaxed and at ease. And that itself is close enough to be an entry level step into what it is to be hypnotized or meditate. If you don't believe in that stuff, set up a candle and just look at the candle. Just stare at the candle. Stare at the candle for 15 minutes with no other distractions. If you've got a family that's really noisy, go to the garage or try, try. just go somewhere away from them just for a little bit, 15 minutes, and just stare at the candle and think about your days and reflect on your day and bring yourself to a conclusion for the day. What did you achieve? What were you grateful for? What do you want to achieve tomorrow? And doing these things and setting these lists in your head of what you've done gives you self-affirmation and gives you courage to achieve the things tomorrow. Doing these things is in itself a form of meditation and a form of hypnosis. Hypnosis doesn't have to be about turning into a chicken or anything like that. Hypnosis is all about having a better health level in your mind and a better health perspective. Hypnosis, for me at least, is especially important in business. Looking through and understanding what I've done throughout the day, reflecting on it, and then knowing where I'm gonna be pushing forward for the next day is amazing. The, 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 the power that I get from that, going to sleep with a problem, wake up with an answer. Strong quote I believe in. Never go to sleep angry. Always go to sleep happy. Go to sleep accomplished. And breathe deeply. <laughs>